Hi everyone out there, yes, once again welcome to my channel. My name is Nia aka Ganyubi. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you to everyone that have subscribed to my channel. Yeah! How did these people get into the country? Two. How were they able to acquire documents that gave them access to start operation of work? Three, these are the questions that I keep asking myself anytime I hear of Chinese misbehaving or doing something bad on the continent. We have no dignity. There's no respect for the African man outside Africa. Guys, once again, welcome to my channel. My name is Niai, aka Ganyubi, as I always introduce myself. I just want to welcome each and everyone who have just clicked on this video to watch. I really appreciate your love and support you guys have been doing for my channel. And today I'm here again to share another story with you. But please, I would like to plead with you, if this is your first time, to subscribe and also click on the notification button. Anytime I share a video, you get a notification. And please, this video that I'm coming to share with you, um, maybe some of you might have seen it or heard it, but I want to also add my version to it, okay? Because I have certain things to say. We we'll still continue to talk about this Chinese causing wahala and problems here in Africa. You know, if we don't talk, no one is going to talk. And because they've been doing this that no one has been seeing them, no one has been talking about it, it's still ongoing and we need to talk to action are being taken from our authorities. Sometimes I ask myself that do our leaders really care? Do they really care? Because if they care, I think this problem should have been solved long time ago. And it keep occurring, it keep occurring and it's happening across the continent of Africa. We have a lot of Chinese in Africa when you go to different part of African countries you always see here in Ghana we have a whole town that is called Chinese town the whole town when you go everything you see is written in Chinese every billboard whatever everything is written in Chinese and our leaders are here are they trying to tell us that they don't hear or they don't know what is going on why should we allow people to come in our countries and do just anything they want I have another story I'll bring to you guys, but let me finish it. Police have rescued 14 workers from a Max factory in Durban, where they were allegedly locked up since Monday last week. So 14 workers have been rescued by policemen in Durban, where these 14 workers are being allegedly locked down, forced to uh, work for this Chinese company in producing Max. <laughs> Guys, I have the video I'll share with you. This is the question that I always ask. Let's first ask ourselves, how did these people get into the country? Two, how were they able to acquire documents that gave them access to start operation of work? Three, has officials been going frequently to their company to check how things are going? These are the questions that I keep asking myself anytime I hear of Chinese misbehaving or doing something bad on the continent. In a story, it says that it is alleged that the owner of the Chinese company kept the workers locked in the factory and forced them to manufacture hundreds of nose masks to meet the demand caused by the novel coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> the MEC said her department received several complaints from members of the public that the Max company were disregarding the laws of the country. The owner of the factory has been arrested and inspected from the Department of Employment and Labor are conducting an investigation. This is in the relation to the violation of basic condition of employment and occupational and safety acts, the MEC also added. I have employed law enforcement agencies to investigate this company. Importantly, they must ascertain whether a Chinese national who was carrying an automatic rifle 
and harassing government officials has the necessary permit, he must also be charged for defeating the ends of justice. These people that were being arrested had the gas to the extent that they even have their own security. They have their own rifle. Is it, there are so many issues to this thing and I have the video which I would like us to They call me Gutson Let me be Gutson Still pushing cause we go make up Still pushing cause we will get there But what caught my attention why I want to share this thing with you All this thing that has been happening and, and our African leaders and authorities are trying to tell us that our people in China are safe Let me share this with you The moment the Chinese consulate heard of this news Okay His response was that he is shocked. He was shocked that that Chinese man was arrested. The Consulate General of Chinese in Durban has called out the KwaZulu Natal provincial government following the arrest of Chinese nationals who allegedly held 12 South Africans in his factory during the national lockdown to manufacture medical masks. We were shocked, we were shocked, we were shocked, shocked, shocked at the arrest of a Chinese citizen working hard to help in the fight against the virus and require that his, his legitimate rights be fully guaranteed. How can you be shocked? Just listen though, upon all the things that this man was doing, this Chinese man was doing, his consulate said they were shocked because they were thinking that he is helping to fight the coronavirus by producing masks. Just look at it. How can you be shocked? The person has done something wrong. And you see, Chinese will always support Chinese. Chinese will always support Chinese. But Africa, an African will never support an African. We are seeing videos, we are seeing things that are happening. And yet you come out and tell us that everything is fine and our people are fine there. You see videos of pregnant women not allowed on, in, in hospitals, people not allowed in shopping malls. Blacks are even denied from going there. You see, this is the kind of leaders we have. That is why Africa is not moving forward. Because there are a lot of things for our leaders to put their toes on the ground and make sure that these things need to be done right. We have no dignity. There's no respect for the African man outside Africa. Just because what needs to be done right are not being done. How? You see, so, Guys, <laughs> let me cease fire. Let's go have a watch of this video. And if you have anything to say about this video, just comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And also, if there is any solution, you can also share with us in the comment section. Until then, um, I see you. Enjoy yourself and be safe. And keep yourself good wherever you are. And thank you so much for the love and support. My name is Niai, a.k.a. Ganyubi. Ola, bawa. Peace out. They call me Gutson Let me be Gutson Still pushing cause we go make up Still pushing cause we will get there We go make up, make up We go, we go make up, make up We go make up, make up the test and the driving, but you never did. Okay, that's fine. What are you gonna do? Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. What are you gonna do now? Yeah. Man, we need to take the vehicle in and we need to check all these people's uh, documentation if they're legal in South Africa. Yeah. So, and we have, we are Tetan, we are, we are Sivan Gessingers. Huh? Where is his license? There, do, you, do you still have his license? No. So that's yeah. 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 Okay, what's going to happen now, ma'am? You say the car is in your name. Okay, we need to verify your documentation if you're all legal in South Africa. So we're going to take you to SAPS here at Lang Laughter, where we're going to verify everything.
Okay, you need to phone people to bring your documentation to see, to show to us and prove to us that you're legally in South Africa. Which one? Which one? What? How did you come to South Africa? These people. Passport. Has he got a passport? Passport. Good idea. Where, where did he get the ID from? I don't know. You don't know? You but he's got a South African ID. It's getting worse, guys. Where did you get the ID? You know, I don't understand one thing. These people can't speak English and they can't speak the any... Whoa, 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 whoa. They can't speak English. They can't speak any of other... Uh, of our other languages, but they're in possession of a driver's license of our country, they're in possession of documents. How did they apply for these things? The Chinese made it. Where did they make it? You have a friend that. When did you, this gentleman came to South Africa? Ask him. Uh, 